there folks and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. Today I've foregone the studio to come outside in the wonderful British springtime to talk to you about a product that I've been using for about 10 years that I want to share with you. Now I've not been endorsed or sponsored to talk about fine aftershaves but I've been using them for a long time. I think they're a great value proposition and that's why I'm going to share them with you. Now fine accoutrements, as they're called, have been around since 2005 and in the, in the sort of game plan of quality men's perfumiers, that is merely a drop in the ocean. In the past we've talked about brands like Taylorsville Bond Street, Floris in London, uh, where they have been in continuous production for hundreds of years. In some cases they hold the royal warrant and they're considered high-end perfumiers. But fine and not in that category. They've only been around 15 years and they were founded by an American financier uh, called Todd Surami. Now Surami, as a hobby or as a lifestyle change, was getting into men's wet shaving and in the process of that he was experimenting with aftershaves as people often do when they get into wet shaving and he found that he particularly liked uh, quite simplistic, old-fashioned uh, fragrances, uh, which were hard to come by. Uh, so, you know, so many of the men's aftershaves are very complex with different layers, and you just want a cheap daily wearer, it's quite difficult to find one. And he, in that instance, came up, or started tinkering with different uh, fragrances, and he came up with what became the American blend of his uh, aftershave uh, brand. And for me, uh, and I think the inspiration behind it for him, was the old-fashioned men's barber shop smell. So if you went into a barber shop and, you know, as a special occasion, you had a, a wet shave, you might uh, recognize the sort of very matter-of-fact barber shop fragrance. And that is exactly what his American blend aftershave smells like. Now, he started off with just a very small collection of fragrances. I think just this one originally, and as time has gone on, the fine brand has expanded and expanded. This is just a, you know, a small amount of what they do. They have many more aftershaves. Uh, they also do um, balms and they do uh, shaving soaps. So you can layer the fragrances if you're into that sort of thing. Um, but you know, they're just very simple, ordinary, basic fragrances. Um, I know he was particularly inspired by a brand called Alt Innsbruck, which is famous in Austria for having only four ingredients. And as a result of that, um, all of the fine brands, again, only have a very small number of ingredients. Um, they're credited as only having water, alcohol, fragrance and menthol. All that's needed to create an aftershave. And this all comes from the blend which Todd Sarami originally created when he was thinking about, you know, getting something simple and easy to use. Now I've been using these for about 10 years. When I first came across them, I read about them in a men's lifestyle magazine and they were very hard to track down. In fact, I ended up tracking them down to Selfridges, the relatively high-end department store in London, uh, where they uh, posted them out to me and um, I, I ordered two bottles originally, one for me, one for a friend, and I really got taken in by it. And over the years, I've bought more and more and I've become more impressed with the brand. Uh, today, you can pick them up in Amazon, eBay, and they range from anywhere. I've looked at them yesterday from about £21 a bottle to £30 a bottle. So as ever, shop around, you can find deals, uh, but for 20 quid a bottle, you know, you won't go wrong. You know, you can't go wrong because they are really good solid 100 millilitres for 20 odd pounds, which means you get quite a lot for your money. Now, what do they like to wear? Now, the American blend, I think I've said enough, but it, it's reminiscent of old-fashioned men's barber shops. It's got that sort of clean smell to it, you know? A uh, little bit citrusy, very nice. Uh, then there's one I really like, and that's what they call the Santal Absolute um, of their fragrances. And it is sandalwood smelling. It's got a strong woody smell. Oh yeah, but with a twist. You know, it's got a little bit of a citrusy twist. Um, all of the fragrances from Fine are quite modest in their silage. You put them on, and, and by silage I mean the length of time that the fragrance will remain on the skin after initial application. And um, you know, it, it's not something that lingers over you all day. You get a couple of hours of the smell, uh, the fragrance, the scent, uh, but then it reactivates. So yesterday I was wearing this one. 
and this is Lange Noir and uh, as its name suggests it has a strong orange fragrance to it. I say strong, you know, it's not overwhelming, it's pleasant. Um, but it's, I put it on in the morning and as the day wore on, uh, you know, I, I put my hand to my face at some point and it, the, you know, the act of my hand touching my face reactivated the fragrance and it came back to me in a little whiff and it was just a very cheerful uh, smell. And like many of these, the orange one is very uplifting. When you put it on in the morning, it's a lovely fresh smell and it, it lifts the mood. And what more can you ask for, for a fragrance than that, I think? So a very nice, light smell. Um, the fresh vetiver is one which I got into quite early in my relationship with, with Fine. And it's a light smell. It's not overwhelming by any means. It's a light fragrance, but it smells of, you know, clean linen. It's that uh, fresh, clean smell that, you know, you just really can't go wrong with. Uh, and finally, that I have in my collection here, um, the green vetiver. Now, if I remember right, it's very much like the, the fresh vetiver, but stronger smelling with a slightly more musky aroma. Um, and again, slight different take, very definitely different to the fresh vetiver, but again, light and fresh smelling. So I've been a fan of the fine collection of aftershaves for you know quite a few years now. I keep going back to them, so they can't be bad. I enjoy my fragrances, but I definitely suggest these as daily wearers where you perhaps don't want to spend money on very expensive fragrances, but for 20 to 25 pounds, say you can pick these up for, they're not going to break the bank. They'll do the deal for you. They will provide you with an, uplif uh, an uplifting, mood lifting smell fragrance that will keep you happy as the day goes on. Uh, and you know, what more can you ask for? So I hope you've enjoyed my trot through the fine uh, collection of fragrances that I've used over the last few years. Worth giving a try because they're not gonna you know, get to the bottom of your pocket there, they're worth uh, an effort. So thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, thumbs up, yes please. Subscribe so you don't miss future editions of The Chap's Guide. And uh, leave me a comment. If you've used fra uh, fine fragrances and they haven't really you know, hit your bell, let me know. Or if you know of another great little startup fragrance, let me know as well and I'll give it a try as well. So thanks for listening. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll speak to you soon.